Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, iron 2-sulfate. So, let's work from left to right. The first thing that I see is iron. I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where iron is, and iron is located right here, right? Iron is an Fe on the periodic table, so I'm going to write that down. I got Fe for iron. But the thing is, is that for all the transition metals, not all, because it's, it's chem, right? So there's some exceptions, but for most of these, your elements are going to be having multiple charges. What charge is iron going to be? Oh, that's why they give me this Roman numeral. Remember, the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. So in this case, they told me that it's a two, so the iron is going to be a plus two. And I know that it's a positive and not a negative because all metals are always positive. They love to lose electrons. Now I come over to sulfate. I see that there's an ATE ending, and ATE endings are not on the periodic table, guys. What are they? Yeah, they're polyatomic ions. For the sake of the video, I wrote down what sulfate is. Just flashcard this out, do whatever you gotta do to just remember that sulfate is always SO4 with a negative two charge. Now we're ready to crisscross the charges. It's a little trick that we do. We take the charges and we crisscross them to just say how many of each component I need. So this plus two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two sulfates, and then this negative two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two uh, irons. Now, when you do this crisscross, don't worry about the positives and the negatives, and you can kind of like scribble these out. We're only going to be focusing on the subscripts, because that's how we write our formulas. But here's the trick, guys. If you see that you have the same number, and it's greater than one, so like two, two, right? Three, three, four, four. You have to simplify it by division. Ionic compounds always need to be in their simplified form, the most simplified form. So in this case, I can divide each one by two to get a lower number. And in this case, two divided by two is one. That's the number that I'm going to be using for this ionic compound. Now I'm ready to write it. I have Fe. I only have one of them now, so I don't have to write this one. And then I have one sulfate. When you have one of a polyatomic ion, you do not need to write the one, and you do not need parentheses. So I'm just going to say S O. Four. And now I am done. So iron 2 sulfate is FeSO4. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Just gets the word in the YouTube world out there that, you know, this cool service ex exists. I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Have an awesome day. I'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye.